Hi everyone, this is Christine. Today I'm going to show you how to digitally color in black and white doodles using Photoshop and Kate Hatfield's Color in Valentine's card. You can use Photoshop elements for this tutorial as well. The steps will be the same. After you open the file in Photoshop, save it as a different name so you don't accidentally save over the original black and white file. For this demo, I'm just going to color right onto the same layer as the doodle for simplicity purposes. You can color on a different layer if you want. It's totally up to you. We're going to sample some colors from the February BYOC so that our Valentine's card matches those colors. I'm using the preview for One Little Bird's Crazy For You digital elements. Click on the eyedropper tool and pick, click on the color you want to use to sample it. I'm going to use the pink right here. Go back to your doodle and click on the paint bucket tool. And now you're going to fill the areas where you want the pink color. Uh, make sure you have t contiguous checked on top of um, Photoshop so that you're coloring in the lines within the lines only and not everywhere with the pink color. So once you click, it will color fill the color into the lines where you want to have pink. I'm going to sample a red color now using my eyedropper tool and then switching to my paint bucket to fill in where I want red, red colors. And now I'm going to sample a mint color. with a cup, cupcake wrapper. And lastly, I'm going to sample this darker teal color. And fill that in. I think I want the frame to be um, the pink color. So I'm going to switch back to the pink by sampling it right on my card and then fill, switching to the paint bucket and filling in the frame to be pink. So if you have um, a bigger doodle with more colors, you can do this until you've colored in all the areas where you want color. After you're done, save it as a JPEG to print it out, or you can drag onto a layout and use it on your digital page. Thanks for watching!